Hey, this month I'm very happy to welcome Nico Köbler to the Persistence Hub with his expert session about Keycloak, IAM and SSO, where he will show us how to customize it to the requirements of our application. Nico is a Keycloak expert and an independent consultant and trainer. You might know him from his YouTube channel, Das Nico, um, and you can also find him on the website that you can see here. Hey, Nico. Hi, Tom. What will you talk about in this month's expert session? Yeah, well, I will talk about um, Keycloak, the Keycloak uh, identity provider, implementation of OpMyD Connect protocol. And um, it's quite a very good solution if you want to make um, authentication um, done right in your environment, in your company, your enterprise. And um, yeah, most of the times, um, people starting with Keycloak and um, they will have to customize it some some way. And um, that's what, what I'm talking about, what you can customize, how you can customize it and um, what the possibilities are. So for example, um, if people start um, using Keycloak, um, they will see a login page um, like this one. You have just um, the, the black and white, some blue. Um, yeah, it's, it's I, I call it um, the, the opinionated developer um, uh, charm. And it's not always um, the best thing to present this to your um, users. And um, you can then um, customize these themes, for example, to your um, corporate identity and um, to have a look and feel um, exactly um, what it should look like um, for your um, employees, for your customers or whatever you like. And uh, but that's only uh, the, the top of, of the iceberg. So um, you can also have, um, for example, um, connecting to, to an LDAP uh, directory, an active directory. Um, you can see here, I just have uh, one single user. And if I um, activate um, the LDAP connection and um, synchronize all the users, then um, I have um, about all the 100 users from the external system, from the LDAP directory in my environment. And so they can authenticate with their um, LDAP password um, through Keycloak um, for your applications. And you don't have to implement anything. This is just um, been done on a configuration level. And also, if you have um, uh, an, an, an Entra ID solution, for example, you have migrated your Active Directory into the Azure Cloud and now we're running um, the Entra ID solution, you can just um, um, configure Entra ID as an external identity provider. And then as soon as you do this, you get an, a button on your login screen um, and you can sign in with Entra ID and um, you're being redirected to um, the, the external system and you can um, yeah, sign in and then just have to um, enter um, the login information um, on the smartphone and um, then you're being redirected. If the face ID is working, it's, okay, then so, we are being redirected to uh, the application again. So um, that's um, quite um, uh, convenient functionality you might want to use in your environment. You can, of course, uh, connect not only to Android ID, you can connect to nearly every um, other external identity provider using um, OpenID Connect or some, uh, or some social providers um, uh, like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Microsoft, Google, whatever you can, you can think of. And um, lastly, I will talk about uh, customization of the authentication flow. Um, what will um, Geeklog ask the user for, for authentication? Um, basically, um, when you um, authenticate, um, regularly in, in the uh, browser and logging in, um, you don't you just have to enter um, a username and password, but you can extend this for having an OTP, for having recovery codes, pass keys, um, conditional authentication, depending on user roles, depending on a requirement of the application itself called step up authentication and all this stuff. Yeah, that's quite um, the rough. Um, the rough contents um, about what I'm talking. Yeah, awesome. So uh, thanks, Nico, for, for this quick rundown of the session. For everyone who 
wants to watch the entire session and learn more about Keycloak, please join the Persistence Hub where you can find the entire recording of this session, the recordings of many other expert sessions with uh, all kinds of experts from our industry, various courses and much more. So see you in the Persistence Hub.